Welcome. All right, so what I have here is 100 raised to the 7x plus 1 and 1,000 raised to the 3x minus 2. And what we, again we want to do is try to solve for our variable x. So to do that, I need to rewrite these in the, using the same base, so therefore I can apply my one-to-one -one property. So I want to see, you know, obviously I, 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 I can raise 100 to a power to get 1,000, but it's going to be dealing with a fraction. And I want to be able to see, you know, how can I raise these with the same base? Well, I can understand that 100 um, to the first power is just 100. 100, or I'm sorry, 10 to the first power is just equal to 10. But if I do 10 squared, that equals 100. And 10 cubed, that equals 1,000. So therefore, if you notice, if I rewrite 100 as 10 squared and 1,000 as 10 cubed, I'm both using the same base of 10. So therefore, it's going to be 10 squared raised to the 7x plus 1 equals 10 cubed raised to the 3x minus 2. All right, now before I go and use my one-to-one -one properties, um, I need to make sure that I remember that when I have an exponent raised to another exponent, I'm going to multiply them. So since this, these are two binomial expressions, I need to make sure I put parentheses around there and apply distributive property. Therefore, I have 10 raised to the 14x plus 2 equals 10 to the 9x minus 6. Now I can apply my one-to-one -one properties and just say the exponents now have to equal to each other since, is, since the bases are equal to each other. And now I just simply go ahead and solve. So since I have a variable on both sides, I need to get my variables to one side. So I'll subtract a 9x on both sides. Therefore, this becomes 5x plus 2 equals a negative 6. Subtract 2, subtract 2. I get 5x equals a uh, negative 8. Divide by 5, divide by 5 x equals a negative 8 fifths. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve an exponential equation using one-to-one -one properties. Thanks.